Hey guys, how's it going? And uh, welcome back. And uh, so today we're gonna show you a 200 amp uh, ESC that I got in courtesy of Banggood to uh, do a review on. Uh, this thing's got uh, 200 amp uh, continuous with, uh, I believe it's about a 6 or 650 burst. Um, I'll have the full specs anyways uh, for you on the uh, description of the video or you can just go to their website. Uh, now this thing was supposed to have reverse in it according to the specs but it does not have reverse and no way to program reverse in. Um, in fact, it's the same ESC as the 125 amp ones that I bought a while back from them, and those I knew didn't have reverse. And I had planned on hopefully getting this one, and I did get it to check it out, and uh, turns out, yeah, no reverse. So that's gonna be one uh, thing you gotta realize right away. It's not gonna have it, but we'll see how well it performs nonetheless, because 200 amps, that's 75 more than the other one and uh, it should hopefully do a lot better in my boat because I did actually cook one of my 125s that I had and uh, the other one that's eh, not doing too bad so far so we'll see how this one does so uh, I'm gonna shut the camera off here and then we we'll rate back as soon as we dump this thing into the lake and give her a spin after I'm done this run is the uh, temperature. He loves the waves. I'm running the uh, 1.6 uh, aluminum prop back on the boat too. Um, and, uh, it does really well on this boat. Like I got all my leaves probably fixed. Let's try this at a dead stop. Let's see what kind of punch power it has. Now I have it on a soft start, not a hard start. It's pretty good. Okay, so uh, let's grab our stuff here and uh, we'll go back and pull the tape and see what our temps are like.
All right. Mm, motor is just lightly warm. ESC is warm, but not toasty. Let's check the capacitors. Actually, the capacitors are pretty hot. So, now I know I've got more than enough amps in my batteries. These are 60 by 120 discharge rate, uh, 6500 mAh batteries. So they provide tons of amperage to run this thing. Uh, my batteries are just lightly warm. I expected that, but uh, uh, the ESC is a little on the warmish side, but nothing major. It didn't uh, heat up to the point where it's melting the casing. That did actually happen on my 125 before it decided to go la la on me. So this thing's not running quite as hot, which is good. But um, anyway, so. Uh, I'll end this section of the video here and then uh, we'll go back home and we'll talk to you about this thing and I'll give you my final uh, opinion on it as to you know what I really think of it other than the fact that you know pretty disappointed no reverse in it so anyways we'll uh, be right back instantaneously for you though hey guys how's it going welcome back well today we are doing a, another test on this 200 amp uh, Eachin SS ESC that was sent to me by Banggood for review. And uh, I've already had some time with it already and so far so good. Temps aren't too shabby. Um, I was running it with the aluminum prop. I've got some video uh, of that at Lake Nipissing. Thought I'd come here today and I'm now running the stock plastic prop in the thing. And because uh, it's going to provide a bit more torque and make the ESC also work a little harder than what the other prop could. Uh, so we're going to see uh, what happens and hopefully things stay together. My uh, motor draws 100 amps, so, uh, you know, Hobby King recommendations uh, for it is to have a minimum of 120 amp ESC. And I was running Eosheen 125 amp ESC, and I cooked one, and uh, so I put my other one in. and. Uh, it's doing okay. It got a little on the toasty side, but it hasn't cooked on me yet. So hopefully this 200 amper works good. And, you know, and uh, we'll see what happens. Now this 200 amp on the website does say that it has reverse. Well, it does not have reverse. So that's a typo that um, hopefully gets corrected because um, yeah, there is absolutely no reverse or no programming for reverse either. I am going to run the batteries uh, down until they get reasonably low. I do have it in LiPo mode, so I'm running 4S uh, hookup with this. But uh, I'm not going to run it all the way to the end for you guys, but I am going to torture this poor little ESC a little bit and uh, see uh, how it works. Then we'll bring it in and check the temps on it. See how it's uh, doing. Okay. So, back in the box. Okay, we got juice. in with it a bit.
everything appears to be working good. Let's take it from a dead stop. And I have this still set up the same uh, preferences on the ESC with a soft start. Check the temps out, see how things are doing. And then I'm gonna go play and finish the battery. Well, batteries in this case. See, she's a little warmish. Not getting hot enough to melt the plastic, so that's good. You know, all that heat shrink to me. Let's check the capacitors. They're a little on the hot side, but not too too bad. That's to be expected. I say overall, she's doing pretty decent. So uh, we're gonna cut the film here, and when I get back to the house. I will uh, run the rest of this and uh, let you guys know uh, everything, uh, my opinions and whatnot on this uh, ESC. So uh, that's it for you and uh, I'll be back soon. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. As you can see, the casing has decided to melt away from the ESC. I was going to shoot this when I got home. I bumped into something in the water. I don't know what the heck it was. And yeah, it was seemed to be okay, so keep going driving. Has nothing to do with the ESC though. That was hitting the boat. Um, but it looks like um, if this is a 200 amp ESC, um, I don't think so. It shouldn't be getting hot enough to split the casing. This motor draws 100 amps. That's it, you know. And this is supposed to be a 200 amp ESC which has now got me really thinking uh, we're going to be doing an update review on the 125 Eosheen SS uh, ESCs. Those are ones that I actually purchased because I did cook one and the other one started to split the casing. It was running a bit hot and uh, I didn't push it super super hard and uh, even when I cut the video off for this one today I wasn't pushing it too hard you know I mean I've got enough amperage I can pin for an easy 15 seconds if I wanted to but 15 seconds and my boat's on the other side of the lake so you know I'm only getting a couple of seconds at a shot here and that's it 
Um, but this heat up thing is, uh, it's telling me that this ESC cannot keep up with the motor. So I don't really think it's officially 200 amps, regardless of what the specs say. Um, this is just too much. And that ESC is, uh, it's pretty hot. So, you know, it's not a good thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to recommend this ESC. And uh, the 125 is probably going to end up going the same way. Um, just because I know that one is cooked. And as far as the rest of this stuff goes, I don't know what I hit. But I got a little nudge on my rudder that I noticed. But then I also noticed that I split the back of my transom. So I'm going to have to take this all apart. I'm going to have to fill that up. Smack it back together. Layer it. And... Uh, refix this. I got a little scuff mark on the paint. I don't care about that. But whatever I nudged with my rudder, yeah, I got a little christening mark there and uh, the transit is split. Not part of this review, mind you, but I thought I'd mention it to you guys because you're going to be like, hey, when's it going to be back in the water? Well, not for a while now. Um, I got the materials to fix it at least, which is good. And I had leftover paint, so I'm going to have to just mask off the back end and rebuild that. So, yeah, maybe in a couple of weeks I'll have it back up and running, but now I think I'm going to start looking towards um, more or less of the higher end hobby grade RC uh, ESCs for this boat because there's this is supposed to be 200 amp continuous and then you got the burst on top of that which is over 600 amps. There's no way it's, it's even 200 amps if it's getting, you know, hot enough to split the casing. Um, you know, and this is with a stock propeller too, you know, which is not massive. So, you know, I'm only going to draw uh, what my motor is going to want. And it only wants a hundred. So, darn. There we go. So, um, yeah, ESC is not a go. Um, it hasn't fried. It still does work. So, I mean, that part is still good. I'll plug it in and show you. Um, actually, I'm going to need my Y adapter because I got this set for 4S. So I know it didn't fry yet anyways. But I'm sure with the way that's splitting, it's not far off. Because my other one fried not long after. So we got plenty of power there. Everything still works. Hey, no, no reverse anyways. This thing is supposed to have reverse and it doesn't. So, sorry guys, but this uh, ESC fails as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I guess we'll catch you on the next one.